Um, hello, um, I want to show you a demo of a deployment tool I wrote um, on M Collective for a client. Um, first of all, the, the demo is quite sanitized, so host names are shown as hashes and, and some of the output is, is, is bogus, but um, you'll see what's going on. So the problem is we have a bunch of Debian machines, we deploy new releases using Debs, and we use fast CGI. The way to restart fast CGI's machines are basically restart the entire web server, wait for it to come back. Um, on busy machines where you have 50, 60 CGI's, you then immediately get a massive load spike. The machine is unresponsive and the load balancer will of course see the socket that's open and it will try and send traffic to that machine. Um, the other option is to kill the CGI scripts one by one with a little delay in between two or three seconds. Um, this means the machine doesn't load spike but it takes a long time on a machine of 90 CGI, so it's going to take um, a you know, couple of minutes. Um, if you have several machines, that's going to take a very long time to do. So M Collective, of course, do things in parallel. So it was a um, good fit to automate that a little bit. Now, we use Light HTTPD and we use Apache. So you typically want to target just certain types of your machines. So I'm using the of um, puppet classes here to choose which machines I'm deploying to and I have a fact cluster equals A or B. A is simply machines with host names being odd and B is simply machines with host names being even, um, the number in the end of the host name. So web 1 or web 2 would be cluster A or B. Um, okay, if I run it, first of all the developer will see a list of machines he's about to affect. Now these would be host names, not hashes, I'm anonymizing it. So immediately you can see what's going to happen, what machines are you going to break, um, or not. Um, okay, now you have a few options. You can deploy packages and restart fast CGI, or just do a deployment, just restart and do a couple of monitoring checks. The reason for the monitoring checks is, I mean, your nudges will take five to ten minutes to really catch up across a big cluster, but you can't wait that long immediately after doing a deploy to determine whether there's any problems. So the checks that we've written is, it basically parses the CGI configuration, it matches it up with the processes in the process table, and if anything is wrong, CGI doesn't start or whatever, or there's too many or too few, it will alert. Now, this is dev a development environment, so things are a bit of a mess. One of the machines are in okay state, so I know that one's good, um, and the rest are a warning. So this is basically the baseline, right? Now, um, I can do a, a deploy and a restart, so I'm just going to deploy ZSH package, it's a, just a demo, I'm not actually going to update anything because there's no new ZSH, but it's doing an app get, it gets the current version and it attempts to install a new version. Now in this case there isn't a new version, but you get a nice report afterwards, so presumably we've done an update. The developer will immediately see what the status is of the update afterwards. Um, has everything been done, he can escape out if everything hasn't been done correctly and he wants to go investigate or attempt to do the deploy again or see what's failed. If everything is okay, he can now restart the CGI's. What's happening here is I've called out the m that counted how many CGI's on every single machine. I found a machine with the most CGI's and I'm sleeping two seconds in between so I can immediately give an estimate for how long it's going to take. Now on the second bit, I'm going out and I'm killing all these CGI's. I've shuffled them randomly. I'm killing them one by one so that I don't take down all of the same kind of CGI's in one go. Um, and it's done it. Now, it's developed an environment, there's only a small amount of CGI's. In production, where we have lots of machines with lots of CGI's, this will sit there taking two minutes, but it'll be much better than taking two minutes per one of the big cluster of web servers. Um, and of course now immediately afterwards you can go and verify that yes everything is still as it should be or as broken as it was before um, and with immediate feedback you don't have to wait for your monitoring if something's wrong here developers can immediately start investigating what happened what's wrong and then take remedial action um, yeah that's a little deployer it's it's demonstrating some of the collective strengths like the parallel task execution but it also shows that we can have this is an agent specifically for the customer, specifically for the developers, and they can only perform the actions sanctioned by the agent. 
um, authentication by ActiveMQ, of course, ensures that they can actually only talk to those agents and only talk to those actions and not to others. And systems administrators, everyone is happy because they know what's being done. Each agent has an audit log, and on every machine we'll find out who, which user ID from which machine, did what at what time, restarts, etc. Everything is logged. Um, so it's a nice end-to-end -end solution. Thank you very much.